All right. Please welcome to the stage, Louis Flanders. I'm, uh, I'm growing out my beard. I'm growing this out. That's what's happening up here. You guys catching this? I, uh, it's easier than growing a personality, so that's what I'm, I'm going with that. So I'm growing it out, which might sound like I'm doing more things. I'm actually doing like fewer things right here. Like Nobody forgets to mow their lawn, and then they're like, yeah, I'm just growing out my lawn. I heard chicks dig it, so I'm just basically doing that. No, I'm just, ne I'm just neglecting this part of my face. But, uh, but it doesn't really stop there. Like, I bought, these, uh, I bought these beard pills online. Yeah. Thank you. That's a real thing. I bought beard pills from the internet. That's, that's ill-advised. That's like taking a, getting a flu shot at a strip club. That's like high risk, low reward, but I did it. Basically, I'm not trying to fix myself like a normal human being. If there's a pill that makes me more of a man, I'm buying that pill. My body's a sinking ship, and I'm just trying to plug those holes with pills right now. That's all I'm... You can even, like, you can even, like, Shark Tank pitch me, like, hey, there's this pill that I made that makes you not cry when you listen to R.E.M. And I'd be like, that's my pill! Hey, you made my pill! That is... That is me in the corner. I don't know. I, it's me in the corner. Yeah, it's me. Uh, I didn't really have a great time in high school. Uh, I know I'm not a, like a tall guy like today, but in, in, in high school, I was just this tall the whole time. I didn't grow, that was my thing or something. And has anybody like ever been dunked on or dunked over when there's no hoop or basketball in sight? Because <laughs> that was my deal. There's no, there's no It Gets Better campaign for that. I've checked, it's checked. And I was a vegetarian in high school, so I just ate a bunch of soy and soy meats and soy products before I knew that soy is just packed with estrogen. So, so when all my friends were like growing hair and finger blasting girls, I was just listening to Morrissey alone in my room like, this guy's making a lot of sense, have you heard him? He's killing it. Keep an eye on this Morrissey fellow. He's going places. I, don't, I like comedy. Uh, comedy's kind of helping me uh, come to terms with my size and my height. I can joke about this on stage. But there's still one thing that I still do uh, that I'm not really comfortable with. Whenever I'm around my tall friends and I'm giving them a hug, I'll do that thing where like, I'll, uh, I'll lean in and rest my head on their chest. <laughs> Why do I do that? Why does that impulse just kick in? Like a basic Jason Bourne or something. This is what I do. I, <laughs> It just changes the dynamic of the relationship like that. It just goes from like good friends to prison bitch right in this room. It's that little turn, that little turn right here that just goes from, I appreciate our friendship, but don't ever fucking leave me, all right? Don't do it. Why do my eyes have to be closed? Why does that have to be part of it too? Why does that have to be part of it? I'm just... I'm just, just awkward in social situations. I say the wrong things. Like I was at this Mexican restaurant and uh, this waiter comes back with my enchiladas and he goes, here you go, enjoy your food. And I said, thanks, you too. And, and, he, and he turns around and he just looks at me like confused. He just stares at me like, no, that's, that's yours. That's not my, that's. I was stuck. I didn't know what to do. So I just cut a piece of my enchilada. <laughs> this is both of our faults. <laughs> and then I raise it up, 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 up. And when it got to like right about here, he just had this look of like, I guess I'm eating enchilada. <laughs> it just swept across his face. And we, when he left, he was like, uh, oh yeah, your plate's hot. And I was like, thanks, you too. <laughs> I, uh, I've been reading about lightning strikes recently because I was thinking about death again. <laughs> I, was reading, I was reading about this guy who got struck by lightning seven times in his lifetime. Seven. You know the number that means good luck everywhere? That's how many times this guy got struck by lightning. 
And he was saying the first one was the worst because yeah, you're kind of just like, oh shit, that's what lightning feels like. But by the second time, you're probably still like, what are the odds? <laughs> Not twice. Third time, you're like, that's too many times <laughs> to be hit by lightning. I know that. I do know that. I want to think by the fourth time he got hit, he was like, which one of these is going to give me superpowers? Because I'll take like one or two more. If I get superpowers, and then he got hit three more times, you guys. Seven. Se that's a cartoonish amount of times. That's a Tom and Jerry amount of times. Seven? There's not even that many Die Hard movies. He's the diest hard. Or the hardest die, whichever one of those tickles you more. You just put that in your pocket, that's yours. He, he's dead now but not because of the lightning. He killed himself, also not because of the lightning. Killed himself because of an unrequited love, which just goes back to that saying, don't send seven lightning strikes to do a woman's job. It's, a, it's an old saying. It's a much older saying. It's a little bit. It did get dark at the end. It got dark a little bit. I'm sorry about this. <laughs> you guys, I think crockpots are the sluttiest of all the cookware. Because that motto is basically just like, put it all inside me, all at once. Yeah, do it. Is that a zucchini? Come here and stuff it in my opening. Yeah, come on, you big stud. What are we making? Your mom cry or like a stew or something. I don't know. We'll find out in eight hours. You guys, I've been Luis Flandes. Have a good night. <laughs>